Hey guys, it's Jade and welcome back to another video on my channel. So, in today's video, we are obviously doing another day in my life vlog style video. Um, and this is going to be kind of like my day in my life in quarantine. Obviously, every day is not the same. Not at all. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of what a typical day in my life is. As well as I haven't vlogged in a while and I have been missing it. So here we are. So obviously you guys saw, I just got up. I set an alarm for from about 8.30 to 9 o'clock. I have like about four alarms that go off. Um, just because I do like to get up and kind of have a morning routine and you know, have somewhat of a routine to my day because if I don't, then I'll just sleep all day and I hate wasting my life because that's not fun. <laughs> got up and I did my skincare and all of that type of stuff. Now, um, I'm actually going to be doing my makeup for the day because I do have some videos to film and some things to do. Obviously, I'm not going anywhere because <laughs> of the stay-at-home order. Um, but I thought I would try out some new makeup products while I'm, you know, on camera with you guys. This stuff I've gotten sent in PR. So will it be in this month's PR haul video at some point? But I just couldn't wait and I wanted to try. So the first thing that I just tried, all three of these products are from Becca, um, is the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. It's this purple primer right here. And I really like it and it does make my skin look real glowy. So I'm excited to try that out. Um, and now I'm gonna be trying out another base product from them. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And they sent me the shade, uh, Pebble, which is 3-1-C. I hope this is not too dark. It may be a tad too dark. I don't think it will, but it might be a little bit. Um, so if my foundation doesn't match the rest of my body, we're just gonna not comment on that. As you guys know, I typically use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Foundation for more of like my daily basis. This is so dark, oh my gosh. Uh, so that is a pretty kind of watery consistency, thin, foundation and I really love that stuff. It's very hydrating. Um, so this definitely is a little bit different for me because it is just so much thicker. Um, but the coverage just right off the bat is looking really good. The blendability is great. It's just a different type of product to work with. So as of now, I'm thinking that this shade is prop is going to be okay. Um, it's definitely going to be better when I'm pan in the summer, but it is a little bit dark for today, but we are just going to deal with it and it's fine. All right, you guys, so I did a very light, like small amount of that, but it really did do a really good job at coverage and it does feel like, it was obviously a thicker consistency foundation, but it doesn't feel heavy on my face. I really am liking how the primer is looking. It looks very glowy and very dewy um, and it's really not, okay, maybe it'll look different on camera, but it is not that bad of a shade match at all for me, especially when I am not having to stay indoors 24 seven and I get to go outside and get tan. Um, this will look a little bit better, um, but I really am liking this. So thank you so much for Becca for sending me both of these products. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer really quickly. And then the last product we're gonna try out for this little first impressions makeup thing is, this is actually a new product. Both these are products they already had out, but this is a brand new product from Becca. They just launched it. I got this package a couple weeks ago um, and just haven't gotten a chance to try it on camera with you guys. This is the Becca Ignite Liquefied Light Highlight. I have the shade Passion. It's literally so cute and it's like a liquid highlight and I'm obviously not the greatest makeup artist and I've never really dabbled with liquid highlights all that much so hopefully I don't completely mess this up. Um, but I've done a couple swatches of it and it looks really pretty. 
So we're gonna try it out today. All right, you guys, so this is the finished product of my makeup look. I actually ended up really, really liking the foundation. Um, it is just something different. Like I've literally used the same product for forever. Um, so I just will have to get used to that. I feel like it blended out well and the coverage is really good. And honestly, the shade match is kind of A1. Um, the liquefied highlight, I still like feel like didn't blend out completely and I can see where I put the dots on my face a little bit. So I'm gonna have to play around with that a little bit more and maybe try and blend it out a little bit more or try putting it over the powder part. I don't know. We're just gonna have to try it out a little bit more. If you have any more tips for using liquefied highlight, uh, put them in the comment section down below. I'd love to read them. Um, but as for now, I really love the new products that I tried out. And I think that the highlighter gives a really pretty lit from within glow, um, which I love because it's very like, I love like a nice kind of subtle but still there highlight. Um, and it just, I like it. All right, you guys, so it is a little bit later. I ate breakfast and I actually did a quick little Instagram photo shoot. I've really been needing some posts to put on uh, the Instagram for you guys. So I just took these pictures. Um, this is a sponsored post with Becca Cosmetics, which is literally so exciting. Um, so make sure and go and check it out. Um, I just posted those products that I reviewed today for you guys that I really liked. Um, so yeah, new post. I love how these photos turned out. Literally took them on my front porch. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. So I think I mentioned this in another video, but my school currently is not completely canceled for the semester. Right As of right now, we're only canceled till April 24th. Um, so they have not done online school for us, which is like you know, nice, but then also like, oh my gosh, I'm not learning anything. But I do have four AP classes with AP exams coming up, so I have been trying to do work on my own as well as just get caught up on all the stuff that we would be learning in school if we were in school right now. Um, so I am going to work on schoolwork for a little while. I'm gonna take some psychology notes, work on some AP stats stuff, and then I will probably check it back in with you guys a little bit closer to lunchtime. Um, just because I do try to give a couple hours of schoolwork at least a day to get my brain functioning, you know? Hey guys, so it is now about 11... 34 right now and I just finished doing my homework. It's not really homework. It was just schoolwork I took a module of notes for psychology started going through some review packets that I had made a couple weeks ago for AP statistics and just working on different schoolwork like that. As you guys saw, I also did my devotional time. I'm working on 2 Peter right now. I just started 2 Peter 1 today and like read through that chapter and annotated it and stuff. Um, I've been doing a really cool thing where I read a chapter of the Bible a day um, and then FaceTime later with my boyfriend and we kind of like do a little devotional together and it's been really good to help keep each other accountable so that we're in scripture every single day. Again, I'm not trying to force my religion down anybody's throat. Um, but I do just like to show what I do in a day and that's something that I do so if you guys um, are religious this is a great time to be getting in the word and to be growing your relationship with Christ and I have just seen a lot of life change for me personally through this season because it's been really really hard I'm not gonna lie it's been extremely hard I'm a 2020 senior hey to all my 2020 seniors out there um, and I'm you know I've had a lot of mental breakdowns I've had a lot of nights of just crying and you know, this has just brought me a lot of peace and a lot of comfort. Um, so anyways, we've gone through James and First Peter, and now we're on Second Peter together. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm not quite hungry for lunch quite yet, so I think I'm going to pick up my room and make it look really nice because I think later on today I'm going to be filming a room tour for you guys. It's going to be another video um, on my channel, so I will show you guys kind of my process of filming that video. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I did some schoolwork. I needed to get that done. It always makes me feel productive. I need to start, you know, getting myself on a little better schedule of doing schoolwork. Uh, but yeah, so for now, I'm going to start cleaning my room. And it's going to be great. All right, you guys. So I just cleaned up my room. You know, I had my bed made and stuff from this morning. Lit all the candles. Turned on all the lights. Um, and I'm going to film the room tour. I think I'm going to do it a little bit different. There's a lot of different ways to film a room tour. You can, like, you do it vlog style and just show stuff and talk about it. Or you can make it like how I'm gonna make it today and do a little more cinematic of a video. So I'm gonna do some like really pretty kind of B-roll type of shots with no audio. And then I think I'm going to use my external mic and film voiceovers for the audio. So I hope that this turns out well. I haven't done a video like this in a while and I definitely do not have the best 
b-roll like cinematic filming skills um but i thought we would just try it out for today um so i'm gonna film that really quick and then uh gonna get started and welcome to cooking with jade <laughs> so i thought i would cook myself a fun little lunch today i just finished filming the video by the way um and so today for lunch and we're gonna see how this goes i've never made most of these things um so i've never made this before but this is called broccoli rice and you cook it in a skillet and so i think i'm gonna cook some broccoli rice and i have a couple different seasoning options uh that i'm gonna do to it and then i think i'm just going to make some gluten-free pasta and uh, just add some of this whole foods marinara sauce there's like stuff on this ew best red sauce you will ever have in your life it's from the whole foods brand and it's so good and i literally go to whole foods solely to buy that marinara sauce sometimes All right, you guys, so this is the finished product of our uh, broccoli rice. I used an Italian herb seasoning on it and our gluten-free pasta with marinara and Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna eat this and I'll check back in later. All right, you guys, so I just finished my lunch. It actually turned out really good. I definitely added little too much pepper to my <laughs> broccoli rice, but it was good. Me and my mom ate it. And the gluten-free pasta was really good as well. It was made with quinoa, from quinoa and corn. Um, and it turned out really well. The sauce obviously was amazing i love that sauce um i'm going to import the footage from my room tour video and actually start editing that so that can be this sunday's upload and then um i will check back in with you guys a little bit later so i haven't really done anything that interesting this is just kind of what a typical day in my life in quarantine looks like i'm cooking a lot i'm doing schoolwork. i am doing a lot of video editing and video filming and uh working out and it's kind of a vibe Alright you guys, so I finished editing the video and I got it all scheduled to upload tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. So that's going to be really awesome. Um, I did make the thumbnail, thought I would just give you a little bit of an up close view of it. Um, on my iPad, I have started making my thumbnails on my iPad now and I really love how they are turning out. So if you guys would like to see like a video on like how I edit my YouTube thumbnails slash Instagram pictures slash whatever, I would love to show you guys that. I'm using them all on my iPad now and it's been really fun. All right, guys, so this is a little bit of a weird thing about me, but um, something, oh, I just got lots of text messages, whoops. <laughs> but literally, I have gotten so bored over quarantine. Like, I've had a pretty productive day today and had to do a couple things for YouTube and stuff like that, just, you know, to get my video ready for tomorrow. Um, but like, other than that, I have been literally so bored. Okay, what are with these texts? Anyways, um, literally the highlight of my day is going to get the mail, and so like, every so literally, I just saw the mailman, and I'm gonna wait for him to drive off so I don't like look too stupid, but I'm so pumped, it's mail time. Maybe I'll get something to show you guys, I don't know. But literally the highlight of my day every day is going to walk out to the mailbox and get the mail. Oh, that is so zoomed in. OMG, I literally got the most exciting package. Let's do an unboxing. Okay, you guys, I just got the mail. Um, I don't want to share with my address because that's creepy, but I literally just got this package. I need scissors. Hold on. I ordered an Erin Condren planner the other day or like a couple weeks ago because they were having a really big sale. And I know it's kind of late to be buying a planner since... Like, it's already April, but Erin Condren planners are super expensive, but I have always wanted one, you guys, but um, they were on sale for like 20 bucks. <laughs> I 
I'm so excited. Phew, my birthday is actually uh, this Friday, so turning 18 in quarantine. But I thought I would do a little bit of a haul for you guys. Oh my gosh, this is my planner. I'm, ah! Two little accessories, because they were having a big warehouse sale, so like all this stuff was 60% off, which is so cool. And now for the main event, my very first Erin Condren planner. I've never had one before, you guys. And, oh. <laughs> Always wanted like a real Erin Condren life planner, and I'm so pumped. So first it looks like it comes with one of these little like little gift sets and there's a couple cards and really cute little stickers and things. So I'm gonna go through that in a second. But this is my planner. I had picked out all the colors on the front myself. It was a print they had, but then I got to pick like what color the flowers were and what color the background were. I had my name on there. This is a little like um, ruler thing that I'll put in the inside but I did do the weekly layout with the colorful, oh, I've literally never had one of these in real life before. All right, you guys, so I've actually been doing a lot of stuff in my planner. I am so obsessed with it, but I thought I would give you guys just one more little up close look at it, um, as well as here are a couple different, these are the stickers I got, and these are just other ones that I have in my collection, some from Erin Condren, and some from UB and other places. A couple other Erin Condren sticker books, some letter sticker books. If you guys want to see um, just all my planner supplies and what I do to plan, I love this sticker book. It's really good. Um, I would love to share that with you guys. Hey guys, so it's been a little while. Um, me and my mom are actually on our way to go run a couple errands, some essential things. Um, we are going to pick up some food for dinner, get a couple things from the grocery store, and uh, pick up some prescriptions. got ourselves a little Mexican restaurant at home. Las Palomas. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we just finished dinner and got back from our errands that we were running. We went to Target and got groceries as well as all of this Easter stuff, we decided to go all out for Easter this year just because, you know, it's been a hard time and so we wanted to do something fun and tonight, since it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, I'm going to be making an adult Easter egg hunt where it's going to be dark outside and we're going to use flashlights and I'm going to fill up all of these eggs with um, different candy and then hide them in really hard places and then me and my mom and my dad are going to go Easter egg hunting and it's going to be awesome. Hey guys, so it has been a couple hours since I've checked in with you guys. I am just going upstairs, grab my laundry basket on the way up, that's what I'm carrying by the way, um, from doing a couple of different family things. I obviously, like in the last clip that I showed you guys, had made a really fun Easter egg hunt for my parents and I to do. My sister was busy and didn't really want to do it, but it was really fun because I hid them and then we had to go out in the dark and just use our phone flashlights and try and find them, and it was really hard even though I had hid them, so that was really great. Um, and then we watched an Avengers movie together, so that was really fun. I'm about to call my boyfriend and do our daily Devo that we do together, and then probably head to bed. I've already taken off my makeup and did my skincare and stuff like that. Um, I did not do a workout today, but I do usually like to do a workout most days, but I just had a lot of things to do today, So, and it's a weekend, so. I'm giving myself a little leeway, but if you guys would like to see a workout routine, an at-home workout routine for what I'm doing during quarantine, I would love to do that for you guys. Um, I know that the afternoon got kind of crazy there. I um, had a lot of different fun events go on that I didn't expect to do, um, but I hope that this video was interesting and was fun for you guys to watch. 
If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And again, leave in the comment section down below any other vlogs or videos that you guys want to see on my channel. Um, I will have, obviously, throughout the video, you probably notice I have always other videos that you guys can watch up in the cards above as well as my end screen. Always will have more videos for you guys to watch um, if you would like to stick around on my channel and watch more videos. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at jade underscore benward as well as shop um, any of my old clothes on my Poshmark account, which the link and the username is in the description box down below. So I think that is going to be it for this video. Again, I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Missing someone. Missing someone.